Shemot, Exodus 28. And take unto you at Aharan, your brother, and at his sons with him, from among the children of Yasharael, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office, even Aharan, Nadav, and Avihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, and Aharan's sons. And you shall make holy garments for Aharan, your brother, for glory and for beauty. And you shall speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the Ruach Chochmah, that they may make at Aharan's garments to consecrate him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make, a breastplate and an ephod and a robe and a broidered coat, a turban and a belt. And they shall make holy garments for Aharon your brother and his sons, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take at gold, and at blue, and at purple, and at scarlet, and at fine linen. And they shall make at the ephod of gold, of blue, and of purple, of scarlet, and fine twined linen, with cunning work. It shall have the two shoulder pieces thereof, joined at the two edges thereof, and so it shall be joined together. And the belt of the ephod, which is upon it, shall be of the same, according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue, and of purple, rather, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. And you shall take at two onyx stones, engrave on them the names of the children of Yasharael, six of their names on one stone, and at the other six names on the rest of the other stone, according to to their birth. With the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravings of a signet, shall you et engrave the two stones with the names of the children of Yasharael. You shall make them to be set in ouches of gold, and you shall put at the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones of memorial unto the children of Yasharael, and Aharan shall bear at their names before Yahuwah upon his two shoulders for a memorial. And you shall make ouches of gold and two chains of pure gold at the ends of wreathen work shall you make them and fasten at the wreathen chains to the ouches. And you shall make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work. After the work of the ephod you shall make it of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine twined linen shall you make it. Four square it shall be, being doubled, a span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the breadth thereof. And you shall set in it settings of stones, even four rows of stones, the first row shall be a sardius, a topaz, and a carbuncle. This shall be the first row. And the second row shall be an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row a ligure, an agot, and an amethyst. And the fourth row a beryl, and an onyx, and a jasper. They shall be set in gold in their enclosings. And the stones shall be with the names of the children of Yasharael, twelve, according to their names, like the engravings of a signet. Every one with his name shall they be, according to the twelve tribes. And you shall make upon the breastplate chains at the ends of the wreathen work, rather, at the ends of wreathen work of pure gold. And you shall make upon the breastplate 
two rings of gold, and shall put at the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And you shall put at the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings, which are on the ends of the breastplate. And at the other two ends of the two wreathen chains, you shall, you shall fasten in the two ouches and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod before it. And you shall make two rings of gold, and you shall put them upon the two ends of the breastplate in the border thereof, which is in the side of the ephod inward. And two other rings of gold you shall make, and shall put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath, toward the forepart thereof, over against the other coupling thereof, above the belt of the ephod. They shall bind at the breastplate by the rings thereof unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it may be above the belt of the ephod, and that the breastplate be not loosed from the ephod. And Aharan shall bear at the names of the children of Yasharael in the breastplate of judgment upon his heart when he goes in unto the holy place for a memorial before Yahuwah continually. And you shall put in the breastplate of judgment at the Urim and at the Tumim. And they shall be upon Aharan's heart when he goes in before Yahuwah. And Aharan shall bear at the judgment of the children of Yasharael upon his heart before Yahuwah continually. And you shall make at the robe of the ephod all of blue, and there shall be a hole in the top of it, in the midst thereof. It shall have a binding of woven work round about the hole of it, as it were the hole of a haberdashon, that it be not rent. And beneath, upon the hem of it, you shall make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof, and bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, upon the hem of the robe round about. And it shall be upon Aharan to minister, and his sound shall be heard when he goes in unto the holy place before Yahuwah. And when he comes out, that he die not. And you shall make a plate of pure gold and grave upon it like the engravings of a signet. Holiness to Yahuwah. And you shall put it on a blue lace that it may be upon the turban. Upon the forefront of the turban it shall be. And it shall be upon Aharan's forehead that Aharan may bear at the iniquity of the holy things which the children of Yasharael shall hallow in all their holy gifts, and it shall be always upon his forehead that they may be accepted before Yahuwah. And you shall embroider the coat of fine linen, and you shall make the turban of fine linen, and you shall make the belt of needlework. And for Aharan's sons, you shall make coats, and you shall make for them belts, and bonnets shall you make for them for glory and for beauty. And you shall put them upon at Aharan's your brother, rather, at Aharan your brother, and at his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and consecrate at them, and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And you shall make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness from the loins, even unto the thighs they shall reach. And they shall be upon Aharan and upon his sons when they come in unto the tabernacle of the assembly, or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place, that they bear not iniquity and die. It shall be a statute forever 
unto him and his seed after him.